All right, today we're going to draw people, and the way to draw people is um, there's a couple of ways you can do it, but you need to know the size of your average person. The size is going to be six heads. So you've got your head, however big you decide to make that, and you've got one there. So you've got two, three, four, five, six, and that's how tall your person is. Um, and the way you figure that out is you draw their torso is the the next two um, measurements here is going to be your torso you've got your hips which come in the middle and the rest is your legs so your feet are going to be here and here shoulders are going to be here and there hands usually come down to about right here so you've got an elbow joint and a hand and these are your measurements so hands come down to your um, just you know where your pockets would be on your shirt so there's your measurements for your uh, person that you're drawing it's going to be six heads um, if you were drawing a dwarf you're going to do five heads so you got your head here so one two three four five and this could be a kid or it could be a dwarf um, but you're going to compact all of the proportions into that space so you find your middle area here put your hips Got your legs, feet, torso, arms, and they're going to come to about the same spot. So you got your elbows in the middle, middle spot. So there's a dwarf or a kid or what you know, whatever shortened, foreshortened person. If you want to do really tall, then you would just add um, a head to it, and you would have a very tall person. So. <clears throat> A uh, simpler way to do that, though, would be to make the head bigger, and you can, if they're proportioned, you just increase the size of the head. So this guy here is going to be, you know, you have your your size of the first guy, and this is one of his head lengths here. You would go one and a half, so that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, which would give you a much, much larger person. So here he is. There's the torso, um, you've got your hips right in the middle, and legs, shoulders, and hands come down to the same spot. So there's your, uh, this is how you would figure out your proportion. So we'll put six heads here. This one's five heads. And it's going to give you an awkward look to it. So if you wanted to shrink down a person to make it, a, you know, like an adult and a kid, you can do it just the same way. Shrink the size um, of their heads. However, there's different rules for kids than there are for dwarves. Dwarves are going to be somewhat proportioned. For kids, the head is actually bigger. So you're going to draw your head of your kid, and then the body's the regular size. So for a kid's head, you would do a double like that so that's two heads and then it's um, so that would count as one two three four five and six and the larger head gives you the proportion of a, of a child so you've got your torso your hips um, feet legs and you can see how the bigger head makes it look like a kid hands will go right below the hips here Put the elbow in the middle, elbow, middle. So there's your kid proportions, and the larger head is what makes a difference. Um, you actually do bigger eyes too for a kid than you would for a normal person. A normal person, well, we'll get to that in heads when we do heads. Um, but this is how you proportion out the body to draw an adult, a giant, a dwarf. And we'll put. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.